is this? The fool running around after. I found the truck you wanted. Oh, good, good. Now hurry. I need it in Vespucci in the next couple of hours. And watch yourself. I hear the cops have been snooping around over there. Shit, motherfuckers had eyes on the plate. Oh shit! Come on, come on! How fucking slow is this thing? Man, there's got to be a better way to get weed legalized than this bullshit. Man, fuck, I'm never gonna lose these assholes. Man, I did not need that shit. This fucking smoke in, it better be worth it. Damn, I gotta get the fuck on.
Shit, motherfuckers had eyes on the place. Come on! How fucking slow is this thing? Man, that's got to be a better way to get weed legalized than this bullshit. Is that my pizza? Hell no, nah, fool, it's me. I'm here. Oh, well done. Hey, a true crusader for civil liberties. <laughs> uh, were you followed? Followed? Man, that's an understatement. But look, don't trip out. We good. Now look, man, won't you come down and check this? I got shit to do, man. Yeah, well, I'll send someone when I know it's clear, okay? Can't be too careful, and I'm dealing with some composting issues. <laughs> this is a bad burrito. Shit, whatever, man. But that's more information than I need.
Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banny. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Gotta quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. Just said the same fucking thing to my wife. See his face that last time I popped him. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep out of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing, nothing. I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis. Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, hmm? told, them, I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I. Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, I'm tired no. of these fucking nitwits no, at the agency no. taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. The more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. 
So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos Reaper. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out. Be Don't. Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we don't hit any more cars. We stumbled on the cash depot job. Brad went down, you went down. Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Good. Uh, got it. Hey, you want a coffee? Some more. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Huh, man? Huh, please. Look at me, please. I can't legally tell you to do this, but do it. I, I don't know what this is about. Hey, hey, please, please. Nothing here is screaming new address. You'll barely feel a thing. I will, I will. I'm bruised. It's so heavy. No, no. The breaker. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Uh, well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash. You're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> Sir. 
So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. What the fuck? How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him know. up. No, please. How are we going to know if the intel's good if it ain't acquired under duress? That's dangerous! You could kill me! Don't zap me! No, no, no! Turn him off! You can't! Don't do it! Not the clips! Not that! Please! Oh. <laughs> No, no, no! Turn him up! You can't! Don't do it! Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. This guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, 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 let me think, I... Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor! Show our contestant what he's won today! I remember, okay. oh, wait a minute, I remember! Woo! 
Now, if you open real wide, I might be able to just reach right back there and grab one of those big ones. No, 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 no! Ah. Oh. Oh. for us. Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until no. you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he's, he's, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. They'll be doing this shit at elementary schools in no time. It's legal, bro. Legal. What if you get it wrong? Torture it. My mouth! I, I would drown! I got blood in my mouth! Oh! Oh! I would drown! Say this! It's all in your head, Ferdinand! Becomes. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you put the body through the ringer. Here goes. <gasps> How long was that out? Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, you please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. <laughs> Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy. Michael, what the fuck is wrong with you? What, I had my eyes on a target. Listen. Anyone in that joint's got as much chance of being a threat to national security as the next guy. Steve, it's blown. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details.
Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. Let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mitsu. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch, okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I don't want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. You're gonna get on a plane. You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Run, you're free. Oh, what? Oh, oh. But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Close!
fucking see me! Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock and an entire courgette. Well, I think you mean zucchini, Mrs. Thornhill. Oh, so wasteful. They're not like you and me. Is that a toothbrush? What's in that plastic bag? Soup? Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work! Oh, stunt double! Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill! Snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Oh. Or like oh. that? Huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. Stop! Oh. Oh. Please! Oh, hey. Oh. Thank mm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few vine wood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, a pair of fruitcakes.
Others are gonna see this. You're always at that fucking golf course. You know I've got a competition coming up. Look, can we talk about this inside? Oh, really? You think I was born yesterday? Who plays golf at midnight? That's it. Walk away like you always do. Hey, you! Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. We'll need a vehicle first, unless you're looking for a piggyback. We'll see what I can conjure up. Okay, I'll wait here and take a good long look at my life, strewn all over the front yard. Thanks, Ben. Just let me grab my favorite iron. Just not getting that. What a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. I take it you're leaving your underwear in the driveway, then? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin has worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a... a... weird one. What's your name? T. Rever. Good to meet you. I'm Castro. What? What is that? Italian? Oh my god! Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. So, what was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And have you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. <laughs> Careful! That's a gentleman's way, right? Ah, I'm not sure I'm your boy for moral compass questions. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. So, let me get this straight. You're pissed because she's accusing you of cheating when she doesn't know you've cheated, even though you have cheated. Exactly. It's like a lack of trust. She'd be accusing me of it even if I hadn't. I've never done anything at that point never done anything at that golf club except play golf. And that's the god-honest truth. Which is more than I can say about her spin class instructor. In fact, I wonder if her fat ass is admissible as evidence in court. Because if she's doing that much spinning, it should be like a bowling ball by now. Anyway, sorry. You don't need to hear this. Oh, don't worry. I pretty much switched off when you said your name was Castro. Money doesn't buy you happiness. It just buys you a lot of therapy to talk about why you're not happy. Thank God for golf. That's all I say. If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. Thank God for golf. That's all I say. Do you play? Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days. Start you piece of shit!
again. That was fun! See you around! What are you doing today? Better than new. This is some special op stuff. Now that's a custom job. Look at Sharp. You got great taste. If that car was a woman, I'd guess her. 